Okay, friends, one of the first things we have to do to get started on our job is to safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. After that, remove all of your lug nuts and then remove the wheel. Let's use some hose pliers and restrict the brake fluid from coming down our flex hose. Now let's go ahead and use an 11 millimeter wrench. We're gonna break this banjo bolt free. There could be brake fluid that comes out of this, so make sure you have a catch pan underneath the area. All right, I'm just gonna lightly snug that. And now we can move along to our caliper slider bolts. Now I'm gonna use a 3 8 Allen head. Let's go ahead and remove these. Now I'm just gonna take the caliper, we'll remove it from the area. I'm gonna to try to hold onto this because I don't wanna put any pressure on that flex hose and potentially damage it. The next thing I wanna do is remove our outer brake pad. I'm just gonna slide this in between here and then we can slide this up. Inspect your pad, make sure it's still in good condition. This one looks great. Remove your inner pad. Inspect that pad as well. Fully remove your flex hose from the caliper. There it is, friends. Now it's gonna be time to inspect and clean our flex hose. We wanna make sure that we don't have any debris where the gasket's gonna be. And you also wanna make sure that both of the gaskets that were originally on it came off because we're gonna replace them with brand new ones. Now it's time to prep our brand new caliper. Let's go ahead and turn this over. The first thing that I like to do is remove my sliders. Do that, I'm just gonna carefully grab onto this like that, slide it right out. Do the same to the other one. The next thing we're gonna do is apply some caliper lubricant. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna come right along this shanked area here. And I'm just gonna try to work it in a little bit. This is gonna help keep moisture out of the area, keep it from seizing up on us. After that, I'm gonna completely coat this area along here and then slide it into the caliper slider boot. That looks great. Just slide it right in there. Press it through. There we are. Do the same to the other side. Continuing with the caliper grease, let's go ahead and coat this piston area here, essentially just where it's gonna hit up against that pad. Let's continue on to the backside of each of these ears. This is gonna help with vibration dampening and noise reduction overall. Let's take our pads, we'll start those in there. Grab that outer pad, slide it in, make sure they're secure. Now we can go ahead and slide this onto the vehicle. Make sure the flex hose is out of the way. Now let's carefully start in both of these bolts and then we'll snug them up. All right, that stopped there. Do the same to this one. Remove the protective plug from the back side of the caliper. After you drain your old caliper, go ahead and install this. Clean and inspect your banjo bolt. After that, take one of your brand new crush washers here, or gaskets, slide it right on there. I'm gonna take that banjo bolt with one of my gaskets on it, slide it right through this flex hose. We'll take our other gasket, slide it onto that banjo bolt on the opposite side of the flex hose, and then connect this into the caliper. Let's snug it up. All right, it's pretty much bottomed out right there. I'm just gonna give it a little bit extra, make sure that we crush those gaskets a little bit. That's gonna help make sure it seals. Just ensure that it's not necessarily gonna hit up against anything. We wanna remember that as you turn the wheel, this flex hose is gonna be pivoting around this area and you definitely don't want it to hit up against that ball joint bolt. I'm just gonna carefully flex that out of the way, being careful not to damage it, giving myself plenty of clearance. Let's remove these hose pliers. Let's get the bleeder screw boot off of here. Set that aside, we're gonna be reusing it. After that, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and pump up that brake pedal. You're gonna notice that it's not gonna get very firm. The reason why that is because there's still air in the lines and we need to make sure we get it all out of there. After you have the brake pedal pumped up, we're gonna come back down here and we're just gonna let this gravity bleed. Just open up that bleeder screw, let it trickle out until I see a steady trickle of fluid. All right, I've got that trickling out of there. If you're doing a pair of calipers, meaning the other side as well, go ahead and do the same to the other side. All right, so now that we have this gravity bled, 
If you were doing both front calipers, you would want to start with the right front. For this video, we're doing the left front caliper. The next thing that I have to do is have somebody up inside the vehicle getting ready to go ahead and pump up the brakes. When they pump up the brakes, they're going to pump it three times, nice and slow. On the last one, they're going to hold it, tell me they're holding, I'll open this up and I'm going to watch to see if any air comes out of this. We need to repeat this process until we see no air coming out of this bleeder screw right here. Make sure that you don't run out of brake fluid up at your master cylinder. Continuously check it just to make sure it doesn't run dry. Go ahead and pump up the brakes please. Go ahead and pump. So on that one, I saw that there was a little bit of air coming out of it. So we're gonna continue bleeding until we see no more air. That last one right there looks really good. I saw minimal air, if any. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it again. Make sure I see no air. Go ahead and pump. Okay, so on the last two times there, I didn't see any air bubbles coming out of this. The next thing that you wanna do is clean down the entire area. Water works best for removing brake fluid from the area. I'm just gonna clean this down and of course, put on our nice protective boot. Let's get our tire up on here. Start on all your lug nuts, snug them up, and then we'll torque them. Okay, once you have them all started on there, go ahead and get your wheels safely back on the ground and then we'll torque all of the lug nuts to 120 foot-pounds. Torqued. All right, once you have everything all torqued together, go ahead and double check your master cylinder and make sure it's up to par.